Oh god. Not again. Here to gloat, mother? Quite the opposite. I was concerned. You're concerned I about nothing. You after. Go away. Your pet monster nearly destroyed me. An unintended and unforeseen consequence of your continued assault against me. You're the bad guy here. The mystical energies within our blood do not always mix well with off-worlders. But neither do the wards of your pretentious sorcerer. Um. The venom creature is okay. a calculated but necessary risk. Give me back the sanctum. That threatens us all. Alien monstrosities, Wanda's unchecked powers, coupled with Banner's unhinged mind. Whatever you are planning, Mother, I fear it may be beyond even your control. This is your fault, Mother. Your concern touches me, but I would risk the heavens themselves if it meant saving you. I'm not concerned about I do not you. I need saving. Okay, you do. we go. We go both ways in that, that one. That crack in your collar is the first step. Every revolution of self starts with the tiniest of rifts, an ever so slight splinter in the glass, a hanging thread begging to be pulled until it unravels all. You sure. should be celebrating. That crack is the beginning of your emancipation from my sister's control. She keeps you collared because she fears you. They all do. Control is good, mother. Sarah wants to hold you back from realizing your full potential, the way she tried to hold me back centuries ago. No, she's protecting me from you. I would not need this collar had I not been corrupted by your blood. Is that what you believe? Yes. <sighs> oh, child. Indeed I do. There is so much you must learn. But you would never believe me if I told you. Not here. Not now. You must discover those answers on your own. Once you're unshackled, you will finally be free to be yourself. I, I love for that to be Who like a dark that? ending. Answer me! Damn you, mother! Curse you, mother. This is not a good sign. Um. No. Ugh. Let's hang. How can this hang out, Captain Marvel, playing video games doesn't feel right. Once again. Ah, this is the life. Kicking it with the legendary. I keep hunter. forgetting to read the book. And kicking said legendary hunter's ass at a fighting game. I also enjoy company. I also enjoy, how do you say, kicking it with you, Carol. <laughs> yeah, there's hope for you yet. I'm just not sure there's hope for you in this game. Care to find out? You realize that you'll need to win the next three matches to beat me. Run it back. Just press that forsaken restart button already. Okay, but I'm not going easy on you, Hunter. You're way too good for that. I am good now, huh? Yeah, just not at this game. Wow. I see how Hunter, it is, Carol. Finished the symbiote sampling device. Come to the forge to have a look. Two seconds. Any new leads? Why do we have this? I want to ask for help. That's not an option. It. This should keep someone busy. Sending your friends out to fight isn't the easiest choice, but we all know what we signed up for. Okay, well, well, Tony, go on then. Bye. I need to read that damn book first. Let me open this. Where's, where's the goddamn art of war? Hunter, hello. Hello. Cut of Hydra, that's not the art of war. 
Agatha, you would not happen to have seen the Art of War, have you? Oh, there it is. I am not reading the Art of War, man. I can talk. Been watching the way you handle yourself out there, Hunter. You're not bad. I was thinking maybe it's time you and I compare moves. Okay. Moves? As in combat? More like a friendly competition. You've got a laser sword now. Interesting. I'm in. A friendly competition, you say? Well, recently resurrected teammate competition has less of a ring to it. Oh, it takes his goatee away. The feeling is mutual, Blade. How about we just fight already? All right. Before we begin, is there anything else I should know? Yeah, anything goes. Just don't touch the shades. Now, you want to say it or me? Say what? Ding, ding. Cool. Cool. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um. Hey, Nico. Hey, can I ask a favor? Um. Uh, what do you think? It's just a job or does style matter? I mean, how come we're not all just wearing camouflage? I'd wear a brown sack into battle if it gave me an advantage. Style matters little to me. I believe you can crush skills and look good doing it. I like the oh, gloss. Thanks, Hunter. Yeah. No. Fresh and fruity. Practice Muay Thai. I really shouldn't be using my gloss on all this. I should be spending them on cosmetics for my for my heroes. Curious. I see. Hunter? Oh, you are gonna love this. Stick him with a pointy end, and then you probably want to run like hell. Here you are, Hunter. One symbiote sampler, hot off the old demonic presses. Thank you. That is not what I expected. It's a syringe. Yes, I for one am not going anywhere near that thing. You're a doctor. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little needle. That is most certainly not a needle. Well, you say tomato, I say one gamma-infused arc-powered laser tomato. Either way, we're good to go. Okay, I guess. Now we just have to get close enough to Venom to use it. Uh, let me guess you got that covered. And I suppose you have a plan for that too? Actually, I don't. Been too busy wrangling our friendly Forge Demon while ignoring Strange's advice in order to build a one-of-a-kind gamma-powered symbiote extractor that burns hot enough to pierce the sun. But Talk to Spider-Man, I guess. To stick the pointy end in him and let the device do the rest. Once we jab that thing, the symbiote will be extracted and stored within the chamber. The fluid inside should maintain the sample's molecular integrity indefinitely. I uh, based it on the saliva he left on you during that last round. Cool. I see. And uh, Spider-Man... Peter, think it will actually work? I'm not sure. To be honest, I've kind of been keeping him out of the loop on this one. Why? Look, Peter's a great kid. With a big heart. He looks at Venom, and he doesn't see the same mucus monster we do. All he sees is Eddie Brock. From what he's told me, the two of them weren't exactly best friends before the symbiote got thrown into the mix. But that doesn't matter to Peter. He's a good kid. It's not going to be easy to get that sample. We'll have to get real close. I know Peter would give anything, including his own life, to save Eddie. I guess I just don't want to see him distracted when the time comes. Look what happened to me with Bruce. Fair enough, Tony. This is Peter's choice to make, though. Venom is not Banner, Tony. And Peter is not you. Well, that's the point. I... I look at Peter and I see... Well, maybe the person I could have been if I didn't let money, fame, and my dad's war profiteering get the best of me. Well, but you are wearing... Maybe I just want to keep the kid... An iron suit, you know. kid. As long as possible. And uh, that's all made, Tony. Uh, made with money. End of the day, we gotta find Venom first before any of this matters. Given his symbiote is happily sliming its way across the five burrows, it's gonna be hard getting any kind of reading on him with conventional means, as in the non-demonically possessed kind. Thankfully, there's always Auntie Caretaker and her magic mirror. I'd check in with her. Sure, Tony. Talk to you soon, Hunter. How's it going, boss? Analyze this gamma coil first, though. Don't wait for the message. Uh huh? Not bad, right? Uh, someone wanted light and dark explosive. 
Big Tony's Forge of Mystery, we never close. Yeah, Tony stuff is like stronger than the others. All right, what now, Tony? Is this what you wanted to show me? A mushroom? Fascinating, isn't it? Some of the rarest species of flora I've ever seen. Carol says there are mushrooms growing in these woods that were thought extinct decades ago. And... And that tree over there? I'm pretty sure it just winked at me. Okay, Tony. I did not realize you were so interested in nature, Tony. Oh, I'm not. I have terrible allergies. I'm just petrified to be inside. Tony. I know, I know. I'm sure it will be all fine in the end. I mean, look at us. First time I laid eyes on you, I assumed you were gonna swallow my soul. Iron Man talking to me about mushrooms and, and trees. Two friends enjoying a moment. Well, we're friends now, Tony, huh? I get scared too. Tony, I cannot believe I am saying this, but the first time I saw a dread maiden, I screamed in terror. Really? I would not have guessed that. How did you overcome said terror? I beheaded it. I Oh of course. Tony, have you played sure the Witcher 3? That will haunt me in my dreams tonight. You should play the Witcher well, 3. I suppose it's time to get back to the old abbey before caretaker six the hounds of hell on us. Well, hound. Are you sure? I could stay outside longer if... No, I'm good. Better in fact. Oh, you won. Cool, Besides, okay. tree I mentioned that winked at me before, I think it just took a few steps closer. Right, I guess we'll back out from here then. Woo! Hey, Strange. I see Tony showed you his new toy. Indeed. He did. He is so in love with his toys. He showed it to me right in front of you, Strange. I much thought as to who should get close enough to Venom to use it. I would have assumed it was, it was me, huh? What about the kid? If anyone understands Venom, it is Peter. He might be a good candidate for this mission. The ability to put ourselves in our enemy's shoes can tell us where they have been and where they are going. Peter, interesting. His innate humanity and unwavering empathy for Eddie Brock's plight could make him an ideal candidate. Hey, Peter, this takes the symbiote this out of Eddie. figured out right now, but we should decide something soon. Time is of the essence. It's very good, Peter. But I suppose you know that better than anyone. We will talk again soon. Yes, Doc, we will. Uh, Forge first. Hey, Pete. How are you, Peter? You tell me, Hunter. I'm out of the loop on everything. They're off discussing what to do about Venom, and no one has said a word to me about it. I, well, I'm saying a word to you now. Maybe they are trying to protect you, Peter. They see your youth and feel the need to shield you a bit. I've saved the city I don't know how many times. What do I have to do to prove myself? Grow a goatee like Strange? I do not think that is necessary. But you can try. Good. Because it would be way too itchy under the mask. I know it can be frustrating, but you should not waste time wallowing in it. I know. I should be doing something. Because right now I feel kind of useless. Well, I have a plan for you. Maybe I'll use the forge to bake a loaf of sourdough. Really get in Stark's way until he notices me. Uh, uh, no one will listen until- Oh no, that's a better way to make your point. You want Stark to pay attention to you. There are better ways to make your point than making bread. Well, I was kidding about that, but if you have suggestions... Just walk up to him and suggest a way to help. Yeah. Okay, okay, you've made go, your point. Go, go on, Pete. Ah, fine. Maybe I'll speak up. Excellent. Now. Just give me a bit. I'm a little rusty. The Sinister Six caused me to miss out on my speech class final. Hunter's choice have nurtured their light within. The Paragon Caller. Sure. Gains one resist or generates one heroes. Now the fully charged is really strong though.
uh, Merciless is strong, but we don't have anything that stuns. So if I take out Merciless and put in uh, Last Sight. Actually, no, I should take out Last Sight and put in um, the Bands of Fire. All right. Practice makes perfect. Constant innovation. That's the stark promise. I need more gold. Captain? We could go a few rounds. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I forgot he dressed like this now. I can see you very well. See you around. Later, Blade. The bell tolls. There it is. The creature. And pretty much the entire Hydra offensive. No doubt stealing more of the priceless and did I mention extremely powerful artifacts housed within the sanctum. I'm glad that Nico's got part is part of the team They're now. Fortifying a position here. You're right. We're never gonna get close enough to get a symbiote sample. Oh, I wouldn't say never. Venom problem? No problem. Wow. You got some serious range on that old Spidey Sense kid. Or he got my text. Either way, I'm your guy. Come on, team. I got an idea. Ev guys? Anyone? Definitely should have practiced that more in the mirror. Sorry, kid. Can't risk a field trip on this one. Yeah, because you all have so much experience fighting Venom. Spider-Man's cunning has proven to far exceed his years. In battle, not the talking. Don't see any of us muscling in when the Mandarin's in town. Haha, <laughs> 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 got him. I get it. What's the plan, Uh, Spider-Man? Oh, it's great to see Spider-Man get his moment. Let's bring magic along as well. We got magic. Stop T posing. Listen, I'm not a control freak. If you have any good ideas on this mission, I'm all ears. No, this My is only idea is to not get killed. This is on you now, Peter. We're totally insane. This is really all on Given you now. Their history together, I suppose it does make sense to trust Spider-Man on this plan of his. What's the worst that could happen? Actually. Don't answer that. Let's go team red. Happy to oblige. Hang on a sec, can I? Can I? Do I have a red outfit? Darn. Darn it. Come on, come on, Magic. Come on, Spider-Man. Oh, he's got two sticks on his, like, hip. That's cool. That's really cool. He looks like a pro proper vampire hunter now. Would not look out of place next to play. Also, this looks serious. Banner. Yep. And there's crisscross. Crossbones. And Eddie, and a really big... What is that? Whatever it is, they brought an entire army to protect it. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Sorry, just need to make a last-second adjustment to the plan. Ah, uh, yes. The plan. What is it? Right. Okay, stay low. Wait for my signal. All right, Peter, go on. wasted. Suppressing gamma energy versus harnessing it. Why is crossbow so huge? What's up, Doc? Eat his brains. Signal! Signal! That was the signal! Oh, Peter. Oh, 
Um, okay. Church. Counting on you again, old friend. Three, two, one. Ah. Uh. That used to always work. Well, it did that one time. <laughs> Oh boy. Parker, report. Parker, status. Well, I am under a little pressure, but Eddie's right where I want him. Hey. Oh. Oh. There's a lot of bells. Repair the church bell to defeat the fallen venom. Fallen venom has infinite lives. To re defeat venom, re play repair church bell when fallen venom is down. Okay. Look how fragile you are. Cool, 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 cool. I take it we're on to plan B. Uh, I'd say it's probably more like plan 1.5. I'm betting those smaller bells vibrated a similar frequency to their big brother. We have your several right here, little son. Okie dokie. Yep. Walk right into that one. Sure. I am ready. You will leave this world alone and forgotten. Just crash through everything. Oh hell yeah. Oh, they are. <laughs> we will always remember this place, Spider Man. Remember what you did to us here before. We are gone playing games. This place will be your tomb. Well, he's moved on from wanting to eat my brain, now he's just trying to bury me. That's progress, right? Just hit him with the bells, please. Uh, spider sense. Wet throw. You're in trouble now. Oh, the frame rate did not like that one. The spider lives up to his name. Oh, nice jump, Venom. What is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, where's magic? 
I hope she's still in the uh, in the zone. More of them are joining the fight. Insult Venom. All right. We have longed for this moment, little spider, to squash you in this cursed place. When you can go, we shall feast upon your new friend here. Hey, Eddie, I know that's just Lilith talking through you or whatever, but shut up already. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. Pain only makes us hungrier. Let me drop that on you, Venom. Job, idiot. Oh no, into magic. What the? What the hell, Venom? Don't think I will forget that. It seems they have brought more friends. Your web is broken, little spider. Your trap has failed. You may be right. This symbiote sample is not worth your life, Spider-Man. We can find another way. Tell that to Aunt May, Mary Jane, Harry, Flash, Felicia, Otto, and about nine million other New Yorkers we're trying to save. If getting that sample means we can stop your mother from destroying this city, it's worth the risk. This kills all of them, hell yeah. Good job, Spider-Man. Hey, idiot. Use quick slash instead. Um, right. would be nice to send him into the church bell. I don't want to use this because I, I need 10 to repair the church bell. You're too strong for you. Okay. The demons of limbo hit harder than that. Being hit by a hell lord. Only more sticky. Okay. That's that's good, that's good. Got three goons now. Up forever. Oh, we can. Do you really think your beauty is out of the Can defy the power of the midnight sun? Don't forget arsenic, lead, zinc, and 
Silver, seventh grade trip to the Liberty Bell. So oh, magic. Ping pong this idiot. Centuries ago. We have one more quick. Now that's nine. Oh, I saw a death sign and it didn't use it. Damn it. Good one. Okay, that was awesome. Next turn, I, I should be able to defeat him. Oh, gross. No one touches me and lives. Alright, alright. Looking mean as ever, Eddie. Maybe even a little mean. Chain strike. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Free magic with that. And then it's almost graceful the way you swing through the air like that. Okay. Work with me here. Hey, Venom, you idiot. No, quick kick Venom to knock him down, I think. Okay, I cannot knock him down yet. However, the Spider-Man moves here. We can quick kick Venom into that pole. And then I'll have one more. Ring that church bell, Spider-Man! Got it! Let's do this! Oh, nice expensive cutscene. Much as I enjoy this dance of ours, Eddie, I think it's time we changed it up. So how about we try a little smash up? Oh, he, he sent it all the way up, jeez. Yeesh. What just happened? Just a little something I like to call the plan. Nice one, Spider Man. Spider Man's plan. All coming together. Three stars. Hell yeah. The Spider of the Man. Perfect. Very good. Yeah, see, everything worked out well in the end. Yeah, we, uh, we got the symbiote.